Hello everyone, as you know, I am Paul, your eHobby guy, and in today's video, we are going to look at this wall charger, power brick, whatever you want to call it. It has failed, and what this is doing is tripping my mains breaker anytime I plug it in anywhere. So we'll take a look at it, try and figure out what it is specifically the failure mode was. We'll rip it apart and see if we can learn anything. So let's jump right in. First and foremost, you can see right here, this is melted away. We are definitely a very strong current surge was happening, making it so hot that it was actually melting this uh, prong right here. With that in mind, let's just do a quick check on the resistance across here and see how that looks. And we'll know from that if it's definitely something that's coming from inside of this. Okay, I have my meter here set to ohms. So let's get uh, probes on here. And yes, we can see we have <laughs> a direct short here. Uh, 0.1 ohms. So definitely problem is within this and not somewhere else. Not within the outlets that it was plugged into or the receptacles. I'm going to throw it on another charger just as a reference as to what it should be as a resistance across these two prongs. Here is another one. So let's just take a quick look at the resistance across here. And you can see this is showing as an open. It is a very high impedance on the input coil of this transformer. So... That is what this one should look like, but instead we're getting a direct short. With that in mind, let's get a look inside this and see if we can find out anything. All right, well, this is the type where you can slide this out and connect a regular power cord with this standard two-pin power cord here. You could plug it into the wall without using this. This should be a simple pass-through from here to here. Just in case something happened from here to here, which is highly unlikely, I'll throw the meter on this. Let me grab that. So as suspected here, there's nothing wrong with this at all. It's a simple pass-through from here to here and here to here. Definitely not that piece. That leaves us with breaking into this guy, so let's see if we can get in. Let me grab my, my spudger here, see if we can help. Get into this. I don't care, of course, since this is garbage. I'll do whatever I have to do to get in, even if it takes some destructive force. Alright, we've got a nice crack there. Yeah. Let's get in here. Alright, that came out fairly easily. Okay, just looking around. So right off the bat, nothing is jumping out. Let's get this whole thing out. Oh yeah. Look at how black this all is. It's complete failure here. Yeah, something is completely blown off here. Right here, there's an entire trace that's missing. This component certainly looks like it's failed and scorched everything around it. It could have been just this, which to me... Yes, that's input, so it's, of course, it's the decoupling capacitor. MOSFET. Looks like a triac here. I was suspecting that the transformer here itself uh, was the component that failed, but it doesn't look like it. Yes, this transistor, it is a transistor, and it's an NPN with a power dissipation of 25 watts and a 2 amp power load, which is exactly what this was rated for here actually this is one and a half amp so that particular transistor is capable of more so as a quick test having disturbed it a little I'm just going to check once again for the resistance between these two 
Yes, of course, and they are still both shorted. Yeah, this very first inverter is completely shorted out internally and stopping anything from passing through, which is not the worst mode of failure. It's a good thing we do have uh, circuit breakers in our home because if we didn't, this could uh, cause a serious fire and possible mayhem and death. This inverter just blew up here, right here. None of the three capacitors here seem to be damaged in any way. We have one diode that's very minimalistic here on top with the through hole components. Obviously, the surface mount down here. Uh, let's see, we have also we can see a slot on the board here, typically separating high voltage side from low voltage side. That would make sense because here's a transformer, these two pins, this pin here and this pin here are the output pins going right into the 5 volts here. This diode is for reverse polarity protection, I'm assuming. If you do see any charring marks or hear a crack when you plug a power brick into the wall, especially cheap Chinese ones like this, you should just throw these away right away. They're extremely dangerous. There are better modes of protection built into higher quality products. So with this one, there's not much to tell. Uh, definitely it's a buyer beware. You can see the scorch mark on the inside of this case also. And here obviously. So there was major uh, combustion happening here. Spark could have been a fire really. And so it's just a, a really stark reminder to everyone to take great care when you do buy cheap Chinese wall chargers that you can and you are risking fire and you need to take care. With that said, it was a short video today. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Click the subscribe button right now to subscribe to this channel. Follow me on social media. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.